A client came to us with a challenge. They wanted to understand the world of teenagers. This client's a brand that works fairly heavily with a whole range of audiences. And one of the audiences they work with are people between the ages of, let's say 13 to 18. How do you go about discovering the world of teenagers? That's a difficult challenge. Here's why. You could bring people in for interviews, but why would someone young talk to someone old with any honesty? Okay, you could have them fill out surveys, but again, what's, in, what's their inclination to be honest and authentic? They would just be filling them out for the money. So we had to design a methodology that allowed us to really uncover the world of teenagers in their own language, in their own locations, in a way that really captured their authenticity and them being themselves. What do you do? Teenagers may not talk to adults with any honesty, and they may not talk to peers with any honesty because they're, they're gonna front, they're gonna show bias, they're gonna try to be the person they wanna be seen as. But teenagers will talk to themselves with honesty. So how do you capture that? We designed a methodology that was really smart to capture this audience. In doing so, we had to make sure that we were abiding by all proper ethics and making sure that everyone was informed. So what we did was we reached out to a bunch of people through conventional recruiting and got people to raise their hands to take part in the research, knowing that it was research. And we came to them with this proposition. We said, we're making a documentary film, a documentary film that will be shown publicly in 50 years. And we're making a documentary film to understand the world of teenagers today. It's interesting because if a person's making a time capsule documentary that they themselves are going to be seen later on in life and they, later on in life is a sufficient amount of time away from the time that you're recording the documentary, they're inclined to be honest. Many of the people they're concerned about or afraid about seeing the content within won't be around or won't be alive when that documentary is shown. So we went about recording a documentary with a film crew, with parental permission, with teenagers in a number of locations around around the world actually. And we got people to be as honest and authentic as they possibly could be. We asked them to tell us what they're afraid of, where they see themselves right now, their feelings on specific brands, their feelings on specific pieces of pop culture, on politics. And we just captured it all. We made them sign a thing that said, in 50 years, this will be shown publicly. And in 50 years, if we're around, we intend to keep that promise and we will show this documentary publicly. 
as well as the public showing of this in 50 years, all the content that was obtained was used to understand the current measure of the lives of teenagers at that moment. All the content was anonymized and all the content was presented in a way that didn't identify any of the participants. We got some participants to give us a glossary of words that teenagers use. When you do work like this, two things happen. One is you realize how old you are. I always thought of myself as being a teenager forever. It turns out I'm just an old person in the room. The other thing you realize is that when you give people enough runway to take off, they will, and they will show you the world from their eyes. And so that project and that methodology, I love because I think it really captures an interesting way of, of, of understanding an audience that traditional research is not good at doing. I'd love to hear some of your approaches. What's worked for you in the research you've done? What are some interesting ways that you figured out to understand audiences that conventional research isn't good at getting a read on?